Hey guys, in this video I teamed up with Feel Unique. I asked them if they would be interested in sending me some makeup, cruelty free makeup that I could test and tell you guys about. And we did that and they sent me a few things that I would like to go through and talk about in this video, including some of the things that I've been using to do my makeup today. So let's get into it. <laughs> By the way, I have a discount code, I'm just going to put it on the screen, it's to 10% on Feel Unique's website. Um, so if you like any of the items I'm going to show you in this video, you got 10% off. So let's get started. The first thing that I received is this um, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. And if you haven't tried this foundation before, some of you might not, um, it's very liquidy, like it's it's very fluent, if that makes sense. Um, it has a quite different texture to any of the foundation that I've tried before. Um, they normally are a bit like thicker in the texture, and this is very like thin. Um, so I think you have to get used to applying it on your face. Um, because yeah, I still have some getting used to it. I feel I feel like it feels very like light on my skin, but it needs some getting used to for like the appliance. I have the color bare porcelain because I am such a pale human being, but I do really like it. And Bare Minerals are a very like famous brand for being uh, natural, cruelty free, everything like like that. And then I also received this Struggle of Light Bare Minerals Eye Brightener that I use just under my eyes um, and it's also a like, very nice product. It, once again it feels a lot lighter than the products I normally use and I don't know if that's because this is like made more natural than anything else that I normally use um, because it feels a lot lighter when I apply it and a bit thinner in the texture. But also really nice, and this is the color Lumi Lun Lumi is one. Then I also received this Lily Lolo Porcelain Mineral Foundation with Sun Factor 15 and I feel like this is like very nice I do really like this it's just that it's a powder foundation and at the moment my skin is so bad that a powder foundation isn't enough for me but um, it has a really nice feel to it so if you haven't if you don't have a lot of acne or red spots and things that you want to cover up then um, I think this is a really nice product. It's just I feel like I need something heavier at the moment. Um, I know that's not the way people should be thinking, but I just need something heavier to cover up the things that I'm so unhappy about at the moment. Um, I've had a stressful, stressful period in my life, so my skin is affected by that. But I do really like this product. And I also have an eyebrow product from Lily Lolo that has a really nice color to match my eyebrows as well. So if you're a ginger, I just wanted to tell you that, that Lily Lolo got a product like that. Um, I can see if I can put a link below to that one as well. I'm gonna put these links down below. So, yep. And the next one is this Last Domination from Bare Minerals. It's a voluminizing mascara and I had this one before as well and I've, I love it so so much um, if you want your products to be cruelty free um, this is like a really really nice mascara The 
first time I used it and I applied it, I was like, wow, my eyelashes look so long. Um, but I just like it. It has a really nice texture. It doesn't go off, um, dries off or falls off or anything throughout the day. It has a really good lasting and it's just, I really like this product, like seriously. Um, I also told you that in a vlog where I like, told you it's like, it's drying out, what do I do? So I do really like this mascara and yeah. So the next thing here are things and it's my favorite things from this video. It's these small matte um, lipsticks. They are so cool. I'm wearing one at the moment and I've been looking for lipsticks that are like drying in so that they actually settle on your lips um, better than just a normal lipstick because the normal lipsticks I apply them and then I have to get something to drink and all of my lipsticks are left on the cup or the mark. Um, so I've been looking for something that would last better than that and these are freaking lovely. I just applied one of them. One thing is that I just love this color. It comes in a package with all of these small matte lipsticks and I just applied one of them and one thing is that I love the color. I think the colors are great. The pretty colors are great. They're pretty natural but cool. Um, but now it has like settled and dried in on my lips and I think it's gonna have a much better um, lasting than normal lipsticks. Of course, it's not like perfect, nothing like that is, I think. But seriously, it seems like it's really good. Um, so I'm really pleased with these, super pleased. If there's anything from this video you would like to try out, I would recommend these if you like lipsticks or if you're trying out lipsticks but don't really know what to do because these are like, they're small but they're in really nice colors and I, f I think it looks really good and it feels really good, so. The second last thing is this nail polish that I'm wearing on my nails today. <laughs> I told my mom like when I was wearing it, I was like, it's almost my skin color because I'm so pale and it's kind of a pale pinky color. Um, and she was like, no, stop yourself. Um, but it does have a really like cute, light pink pale color. And the last thing in this video is this face mask that I haven't tried out yet. Um, if I manage to try it out before I edit this video, I'm gonna put in a clip now of what I think about it. But maybe I'm not going to be able to do that, but then I will definitely tell you what I think about it. Um, on my vlog channel when I've tested it. So if you aren't subscribed to my vlog channel, it's Life of Felice. I'm gonna put a link to that down below as well in the description. Um, but it is the Yes to Coconut Hydration and Restore Ultra Hydration Paper Mask. Never tried a paper mask before actually. I almost forgot this lipstick from Inika. Inika. It is the captivating and it's kind of a golden color so it's so awesome for autumn. Um, and it's this one and it's it's super nice. They are also like a natural um, beauty brand and <laughs> it's super cute. I was wearing it in my vlog from yesterday. I can just put in a clip so that you can see how it looked on my lips but I love it. Um, I have like this red golden kind of hair so I think a golden lipstick looks like really cute to my colors. It complements me pretty well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. My favorite from this video is definitely the matte lipsticks. I can't wait to like test out all of the colors and just play around with them. I love the feeling it has on my lips and that I don't have to worry about that it's going to come off on everything that it touches. 
um, that's normally how it is with the lipsticks they never really feel like they have settled on my lips because they will always be like pretty um, I don't know you know what I mean don't you the opposite of dry they just seem very I don't know but I'm very happy about the matte lipsticks and I also really love the mascara I've been using that sin since March I think and it's really a nice mascara as, as well like it lasts an entire day and it's natural it's nice it makes my uh, eyelashes long and beautiful yeah. but I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you're going to have an amazing day so thank you guys for watching and bye bye <laughs>